Ashi was abused, not emotionally, and probably not even physically mature. Tsunami, time for a necessary head of sexual romance. I am so pissed. Are you fucking kidding me? Ashi and Jack, are you fucking kidding me? I feel like gagging. Jesus fucking Christ. This is disgusting and frustrating me. Why the fuck do they do that? They were fine with the terms before the episode. I am pissed, disgusted, and now sick. Why do they do that? They were fine as fucking friends. Spoilers, I'm so grossed out. Why couldn't they just be friends? Why do they do that? I'm pissed. I hate everything. Me, pounding on Chartakovsky's door. Just because two people of the opposite sex spend time together does not mean they have to be in a relationship. Samurai Jack, Samurai Jack, spoilers. I am very disappointed in the thinly veiled homophobia in the Samurai Jack tag. I like, I'm Sue. There are straight people upset with forced romance in theories. I was actually watching Civil War the other day, and there was no reason for Cap and Sharon to kiss. It was so forced, it reminded me of how elements of the writing left me with a kind of bland taste in my mouth. It's just unnecessary. So unnecessary. Text, Samurai Jack, spoilers, sad face. I actually agree with you on the Cap and Sharon thing. The pulse of heterosexuality out here, ruining Samurai Jack, what the fuck, he is like a hundred years her senior. An original joke related to Samurai Jack time. When I die, I would like to every straight cis man who made something like from my childhood, who went to make something new when I was much older, after enough time had passed, so you'd think they'd have grown as a person in knowing that what is racist, sexist, homophobic, etc to lower me into my grave so they can let me down one last time. Hashtag original post, hilarity, not guaranteed. F fucking run on sentence. I am honestly hella grossed out at that episode. I need the bath, why? Man, that was uncomfortable. Frey yells, I'm ill. I don't even know what to say. Samurai Jack. If the kiss was just Gendo fucking with us, and next up starts with Ashi realizing she's gay and just be like, Well, Burrito, guess we're platonic, Jack. <laughs> Romance? Whoa! So, born sexy yesterday is when there's a young girl with no socialization or exposure to the outside world, who is naive about subjects such as romance, nudity, and sex, who is sexualized repeatedly, who in spite of her ignorance often has incredible combat skill, who has a scene where she strips or is casually nude in front of others because she doesn't know better, who is designed to fall in love with the older, usually less attractive male lead, a male lead that is often also naive about romance and sex, and they fall in love in spite of this because the male lead is literally the first and only man she's ever met or interacted with. So anyway, how about that new Samurai Jack, huh? Samurai Jack, Samurai Jack, spoilers. Raise your hand if tonight's Samurai Jack episode made you uncomfortable. Wow. I really thought Jack and Ashi were just gonna have a student, teacher, or father-daughter bond, but everything gotta be about romance, huh? Samurai Jack, Ashi, Samurai Jack, X, Ashi. Samurai Jack, episode 99. Or should I say, how to annihilate a perfectly level-headed phantom in exactly 20 seconds. Samurai Jack, JJ, 5x5. Rip Samurai Jack's marriage to Johnny Bravo. Ash Day spoilers. Panda ramblings. Coming back to my senses and realizing that there are only two episodes of Samurai Jack left, Aku's defeat is nowhere in sight, and a whole episode was wasted on awkward silences and unwanted straight romance. Someone, anyone, please tell me what fan this was supposed to service. Samurai Jack, Toonami. How to piss off Tumblr. Make a straight ship cannon. Samurai Jack, Joshi. Jack X Ashi. This week on the Straits Ruin Everything, Samurai Jack SK Poilers. Fuck you, Genji, you piece of shit. Fuck you for pandering ship fags. Tumblr before episode 8. The Samurai Jack reboot is a blessing and Genji is a saint. Tumblr after episode 8. What kind of heterosexual normative bullshit? Samurai Jack. Listen. I'm very bad at drawing humans, and I HATE drawing men. But the new Samurai Jack episode made me do this. Samurai Jack, Samurai Jack Ashi. Gay icon. How the fuck is Samurai Jack a gay icon? We're so close to the end! Everything was perfect! You had to fuck it up! Toonami, Samurai Jack. Remember, kids, any romance is forced romance, so long as it's het, according to Tumblr. 
Samurai Jack, Samurai Jack spoilers. Jack murders a bitch, Tumblr says it's okay. Jack kisses a bitch, Tumblr says it's not okay. My reaction went. It's kind of fucked up how back in season one, that episode with Aku slash Ikra was a better romance than Chishi. On every way, despite it literally being Aku and Drag manipulating Jack. Like, what the fuck? Samurai Jack, shut up, Mitch. You censored the name of the ship. It's an interesting indicator how offended you are by this when you censor the name of the ship. Me, every time an unnecessary hetero romance trademark happens. Boy, I sure do love Jack and Ashi's father-daughter relationship. But they kiss in episode 8. Boy, I sure do love Jack and Ashi's father-daughter relationship. Samurai Jack, I feel ill. Two cartoon characters kissed and they were hetero! Okay, but fuck new Samurai Jack. I am forever salty at Gendy and his team. Like, fuck you and false hetero romance, bitch. God, I don't even want to watch the new Samurai Jack. Why must straight romance be forced into everything? Especially in that context. Yikes. Samurai Jack. More like Jack Ross, am I right? <laughs> Listen, we've been through this already. Samurai Jack is a gay, asexual man. Gay or asexual? Pick one! Fifty years have passed, but I have not gotten laid. Masturbation has lost its effect on me, yet my suffering continues. My hand grasped my sword in the past, present, and future. Hope is lost. Gotta get back. Back to Ashi's ass. Samurai jacket. You may not like it all you want, but seeking to ruin a show over a ship is really shitty. He's 70 and she's 20, you pedophile defending creep. Ask me out of the beautiful juicy and a question. Samurai Jack, anonymous. I actually might stop watching the show now. I know it sounds like I'm being overdramatic, but I'm pissed. Because the straights get everything no matter what, and I'm tired. Hey guys, so the last Samurai Jack app was gross, so I'd appreciate it if everyone tagged it so I could block the show off my dash. Sorry, I even reblogged posts before. I didn't think Tartakovsky would be so gross as to ship an old man and a teen, but here we are. Hey, biggest disappointments of 2017 though, am I right? Text. I am so pissed. I am really going to ruin Samurai Jack for me. What the fuck? Fuck this pedophilic shit. I don't care if she's like 18. Jack is like, what, 70 or something? LOL. I didn't mean to put LOL there. Just what the fuck? He was supposed to adopt her. What the fuck? Be careful, cancerous tumblerinas. Too much stress will give you a heart attack. Ooh, what am I saying? Never mind what I said. Please continue! I can't believe Jendi Tartakovsky wrote bad fan fiction of his own show and animated and directed it and put it in the middle of his show as canon! What a guy! Jendi Tartakovsky! Are you fucking kidding me? This ship is gross on multiple levels even when you don't think of them as father and daughter. Look up Born Sex yesterday and take the sexist shit off my dash. Like, I'm sorry we are friends, but I cannot tolerate something that fucking disregarding, and if I see something like this again, I'm afraid I will have to block you. Do you still like the old show? Jack is ruined for me. I am not comfortable with the character at all anymore. Me at Shendi Karnikovsky pushing that heterosexual nonsense. God forbid a sci-fi story have a female character who is their own character. No, they have to fall in love with the protagonist. Fuck everything. I'm not kidding. I'm not exaggerating. I am dropping this show right the fuck now. I'm not even reviewing it either. That sounds like a very friendly robo friend. If you don't understand why Joshi is fucking disgusting, unfollow me. Samurai Jack is gross and y'all are gross. Fuck you, Gendy. Fuck you so fucking much, you're a hack. Yes, I wanted Samurai Jack to be top-notch Kido episode, but you had to fucking ship Jack and Ashi. No, eat fat cock, you fucking cuck. I hope you die. All I wanted was a daughter and father relationship, but you had to fuck it up, you fucking fuck, 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 fuck of a hack. I hope you get nut cancer because you're one fucking hack, you deep-throating hack kike. You're ruining the industry, and I hope you will get fired for this shitty ending. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and more fuck you, you fucking hack. You're a lot worse than Alex the Hack. You're the worst piece of shit of a creator. Please do the world a favor and kill yourself, you degenerate piece of shit Jew. Well, that was the worst fucking Samurai Jack episode. I'm legitimately having crisis of faith. What the fuck, Yendi? Back to the past. Live vlogs. All downhill from here.
Well, they actually did it. Jack and Ashi are now a couple. I am so disappointed right now. This may be the final episode of the season I watch. Why do they have to force this? Not all shows need romance. Why can't they just have a platonic father-daughter relationship? Is that so hard to ask for? Is it? Okay, I'm really grossed out and disappointed. SJ spoilers. Oh boy. Born sexy yesterday. Forced romance and unnecessary nudity. Easily the worst episode thus far. I hope this is fake, Ashi. Well, listen, I hate the ship shame, but this Joshi stuff is so bad in my honest opinion. It's really sudden and forced. Not to mention Jack is like technically around 75. I'm just saying, y'all. I ain't a fan. Samurai Jack Season 5, Samurai Jack Spoilers, Jashi, Jack X Ashi. Samurai Jack was rejuvenated on Adult Swim in order to finish the show, and is now ending as a romantic comedy.